Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today we're taking a look at an app called SideNote and it's available through um, something called SatApp which I'll link in the description below. Think of it like Netflix for apps, uh, you pay a recurring subscription for access to uh, a range of them. Now I've got it actually installed. Uh, side note is if you were to think of like a little sort of post-it note wall uh, that appears on your Mac then that's exactly what it is. Um, if you basically go up to the top you can see this new app appears and as you can see uh, you've got this sort of like window that pops open uh, on the right hand side if I were to scroll over to another application it follows along with me and I can scroll through uh, these. Now I want to dive into what these all mean. Now first of all you can have a folder system so you can create a brand new folder um, and as you can see like this is a new folder no notes appear but I can press plus and you can see a note appears. Now it works in full markdown so you can do all of the regular stuff that you'd expect like lists, to do, pictures, headers and all of the regular stuff like uh, you'd expect in markdown including code blocks and code. Now I think what side note is best at is for those things that are quite easy to access, maybe not passwords because of security, but maybe things like, um, you know, uh, size of uh, shoes and you could do the whole family's size of the shoes. Um, uh, and I could say 5G for auto, you know, easy stuff that you're always going to remember when you're on the web browsing maybe. Um, and that's uh, what uh, you know might be accessible. You might want to put a picture um, of maybe even a serial uh, number that you're using, uh, or maybe even uh, you know regular stuff that you'd expect. Uh, trying to think of things that you would share. Um, you can share your notes, copying the text and the notes URL as well. You can change the color of it, so you can naturally change it. Reminds me very much of the Post-it Note style. And you can see you can change the mode from uh, standard, which is Markdown, to plain text and code. And here you can actually uh, move them in the relevant statuses. So for example, you can move them to the top, bottom, or even the folders uh, like they have and delete them as well. So let's show you the showcase. So if I go in the showcase, you can see some of the demonstration as a markdown, the colors, and for example, the tasks that you can tick off. You can even have pictures like here. Um, you can see that the, you can drag some in. I think I dragged that one in. And you can even copy and paste stuff quite quickly as well. Uh, and being able to use it from the pasteboard, um, which is helpful. And as you can see down here, uh, you can see the code pasting. They have a few um, useful uh, create new notes stuff on the side, but I could just access it through swiping. And if I were to search, the search bar comes up here in the center. And let's say I was gonna type in uh, Otto, you could quickly get to that note quite easily. So that's quite a nice feature. Is there a little uh, keyboard shortcut for that? Let me try and find it quickly. Okay, you can't see a keyboard shortcut for being able to search something, but that would be quite handy. Um, but this is actually available through the set app subscription. Uh, so you can find that in the link in the description. You can see a little bit more about it on here. Um, I'm not sure they have a mobile application for obvious reasons, but it's got iCloud Sync as well. So if you are looking to sort of synchronize between your laptops, you can have themes as well. So that's something that I haven't uh, been able to demonstrate there. Uh, you can see note tasks and also you can drop files as well, which is pretty helpful um, for getting quick access to shortcuts. So that might be particularly helpful for like, I, I don't know whether you're somebody that does it as well, but editing, um, I'm always trying to find files of like our logo maybe I'll hook that up so it's not really a fully fledged note-taking application but it's definitely something that's going to assist you almost like having post-it notes on your screen without necessarily having post-it notes on your screen okay folks that was a quick review of side notes you can check out setup below and hopefully you enjoyed today's video thank you very much make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon cheerio